Have I finally found a free Pictory alternative? Well, if you'd like to find out, stick around to the end. Hey, I'm Henry Nunn from Product Creation Formula. Here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to better help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that sounds interesting to you, how about you smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. All right, guys, let's go check it out. Now, before we get started, we're going to have to make sure that we create ourselves a script. Now, I already have a, a prompt here in ChatGPT, and I'm going to get ChatGPT to create the script for me. Now, it's going to be for a YouTube video channel that I'm going to be creating in the next day or two. So I'm going to just go create that, and hopefully it will create a 1500 plus word script that I can then use. Now, I'm just going to pause the video while I wait for this to write the script, and we'll be right back. Okay, so now this is going to be a monstrous size script, so much so it's done it in two lots. Okay, so I'm just going to copy that one and we're going to put this straight into a Word document and I'll be showing you why I'm doing that in a minute. Okay, then we're going to go down to here. I'm going to pull a full stop there. And we'll go grab the next lot. And we're going to go copy that. Pop that straight under here. Control V. Now, another thing we need to do is to get rid of all of these little asterisks. If we don't do that, it will mark up the process. So what we need to do is go Control H. And what that does is it brings this up. Now, I'm going to, it says here, replace. Now, I'm going to be having the, the asterisks replaced with just nothing. And then we go replace all. And we go OK. Now, what's going to happen is it's going to remove all the asterisks asterisks, the double asterisks in the script so that it doesn't actually, the, the place we're going isn't going to re be reading it out. So, okay, we've done that. Let's go and have a quick look. Now, I also believe this might be a little bit too long as the script goes. I have a feeling it's going to be well over 2,000 characters. Let's go and have a quick look at this. Go to review, go to word count, and yeah, it's 17,000 characters. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's way bigger than I expected. I wanted 1,500, not 17,000. Okay. But I did say words, so it's got over 2,000 words, 2,800 words. That's, that's kind of amazing. Okay, well, I don't know if what we're going to be pasting this into can handle that much, but let's go and have a look and see if it can. Now, let's see if there's any other thing we need to remove, like hashtags or anything like that, because if there is, we need to remove that as well. Okay, it looks like it might well be okay, but I might also remove these as well, because I have a feeling that they might cause a problem too. So let's go Control H, and we'll replace all of those with just a blank space. So let's have a look at this. Yes, it says 50, and all, but in total 68 were replaced. Okay, we'll get rid of that. So now we have a nice clean script that we can use for where we're going to be going next. And the next thing we're going to be doing is going over to CapCuts. Now CapCuts does have the opportunity for you to be able to create long form videos. Now, we, what we need to do, you've got here, you've got video translator, script to video, long video to shorts and create images. Now, these ones here are over eight minutes long. And they're pretty good, actually. What I'm going to do in this particular case is we're going to go here to script to video. Now, it's going to use AI to do this, and we're going to go down here to other. And the reason I'm doing other is because I wanted to just basically create a very basic script over here for me so that I can delete it and paste the other script into it. Now, let me show you what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to type something in here, say, create a script about how to monetize, how to monetize your YouTube channel before you hit the YouTube partnership program criteria. Okay, so we now hit generate, and in just a few moments, it will create the script. But in the meantime, I will pause it. It doesn't take too long. Oh, there we go. I didn't have to pause it. It's right there. Now, the next thing you need to do is choose a voice. Do not choose ASMR or you'll have it whispering all the time. And it is kind of creepy. So I'm going to go over here. I do like this particular one here. It's called 
old style advertising. Now let's have a listen to this. Hey there. Okay, we can also pre we can also go down here to British Mail. Hey there. We can also go here to new, uh, Neutral Man. Hey there. We got Narrative Man. Hey there. Hey there. You sound really depressed. So I'm going to be choosing this particular one here. I really like this. I mean, as all of them goes, they're all pretty. They're all fairly mediocre. And what we're going to do is we're going to have it create. Oh, we're going to actually delete all of this first. We're going to delete all of that. Get rid of every single bit of that. And we're going to grab the script from here. And we're going to go Control V to get all of it. Oh, actually, we're going to go Control A to get all of it. And then Control C to capture it and to copy it. So just in case, there we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this straight into here. We're going to go Control V. And let's have a look. And it looks like it's grabbed all of that script. It's going to be a massive script. So it should be interesting to see how it generates it. And then all you have to do now is go generate video and we go smart generation. And we want it to be able to generate it. We want to be able to have it use the smart generation because that's the AI actually doing the job for you. And from what I can see, it does a really good job. Now, this does have a lot of limitations to it. Once it, it's finished, you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm just going to pause the video until it's finished because it could take a little while. Well, it turns out that this is having problems trying to generate something quite this long. I'm going to cancel it off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some of the script and we'll try again. I'm just going to pause the video while I do that. Hopefully it won't be quite so long this time and it'll be able to continue going and create the entire thing. I think maybe it may, I may have kind of broken it. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. Okay, we have some success. Now, what happened was I suspect that because I was recording that it was playing up with the creation process of this. So after I finished recording, I then redid this and I got ChatGPT to write me up another script, but this time a much smaller script, 1500 words instead. And as you can see, this goes for over nine minutes long. So that's really good. So it's just a little bit over 1,500 words. So I think it was 1,541 words or something. And then I got it to record it. Now have a look at this. YouTube is a powerful platform for affiliate marketing. With over 2 billion logged in users each month, YouTube offers an enormous audience to tap into. Whether you're just starting or looking to expand your current marketing strategies, YouTube provides a unique opportunity. Okay, I'm just going to get this. I'm going to scroll in just a little bit. I want to see what these ones here are, which are, which is the actual audio. Okay, so these are the words, and the bottom one is the music, I would assume. So I'm just going to go back a little bit and delete the audio because I down the bottom because I really don't like that audio. I'm going to remove that altogether, and I'd much rather have the entire thing without music at the moment, and then I would literally put this straight into my Camtasia, and I would add my own YouTube library music. That way there is no chance of getting flagged by YouTube. Let's keep watching. To connect with potential buyers. It's not just about creating content. It's about creating content that converts. Hey guys, Henry here from Easy Tube Profits. We're dedicated to helping you make money on YouTube, even before you're monetized. So you can probably hear little clicks and so forth. So it does show that the audio is kind of mediocre. So comparison, when it comes to this, you can obviously you can expand it out. I don't really know how you'd go about getting more video clips that would be part of the library to go in here. I'm sure there's ways in how you can do it. I'm not a CapCut expert in any way, shape or form, and I would never claim to be because I don't really know it that well. But when I discovered that you can do this with CapCut, I couldn't help but make a video to show you that there are free alternatives out there to Pictory. Now, the voiceover is kind of mediocre, but if you want to use TTS OpenAI and have it record the audio and pop it straight under here, and then you can probably just adjust the, the gaps and so forth so that it fits within the frame. That's my suggestion with this. 
So what do I think of it? I don't think it's pretty awesome, actually, but I also don't think it's... I don't think if you have having Pictory that you should leave Pictory because Pictory is much easier. As in, Pictory, you can upload a video or a voiceover and it can create the video using the voiceover. Or you can actually have the video already made and then you can add a voiceover to it and then it'll just sync it up to the voiceover, which is which is really powerful. This, you need to do a lot more mucking around to be able to have that happen. It doesn't do it automatically for you. So you can't just download a voiceover. You can, from my understanding, from what I saw over here, record a voiceover if you want to, but it doesn't look like it's going to allow you to actually create a voiceover and then download it into here. If you do, then you need to obviously import and then place it directly under there and then try and line it up frame by frame, which could be quite a nightmare when you consider how many frames they actually have in here. You can see all the frames just right there. How many frames are there? An awful lot. So it's up to you how you'd want to do it. But personally, I would prefer to maybe not do that. Let's have a quick listen to the last part. And if you look on the right side of the screen, you'll see an image of my head. Now, if you click on that, you'll be able to subscribe. So as you can see, the I love the video. I mean, like the, the it seems to be far more accurate to what you're talking about. And I think it's it's really quite in that way, I think it actually has a better option than Pictory. I think it, it chooses better images and better videos. But yeah, this one I it does have a few more limitations to Pictory. But don't get me wrong, I still love Pictory. Pictory is awesome. And CapCut is really good, but I think it, it does have some limitations. All right, guys. If you got some value out of this video, how about you smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not consider sharing? Also, leave a comment down below and let me know whether you're going to use CapCut as an alternative, as a free alternative, to using Pictory. Also, to let you know, that right here is a video I believe you might like. Down here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. Right here, well, there's an image of my head. And if you click on that, you'll be able to subscribe. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And bye for now.